In this video, we will demonstrate how to use your own domain to securely access Home Assistant remotely. To do this, we use Cloudflare along with an add-on called Cloudflared to create an SSL connection. Although we're using Freenom for this demonstration, this can be done with any registrar that allows you to modify your DNS settings. As mentioned, we're using Freenom for this demonstration. Freenom allows you to register free domain names under a set of top-level domains. If you don't have a domain, a free one such as this should suit your needs. Visit the freenom.com website. In the search box in the middle of the screen, type a domain you're interested in and click Check Availability. In our case, we'll try Smart Home Addict. Leaving off the domain gives you a list of available domains. You'll be given a list of up to five domains that can be registered for free using Freenom's own top-level domains. If you wish, you can also register conventional endings such as .com and .net for a fee. We'll select the .tk domain. Click Get It Now. Then click the Checkout button. You'll be shown a confirmation of your order. The period will show three months at free. You can change this up to 12 months at free. Click continue. You'll be presented with a summary showing total cost. Click complete order. You'll be shown a confirmation. Click the button to go to the client area. Go to cloudflare.com. Click sign up, or if you already have an account, log in. Once you're logged in, click add a site. If you can't see this button, select websites from the left side of the screen. Enter the complete domain here and click add site. Cloudflare may prompt you to sign up for an account. For most purposes, a free account is fine. This option is lower down the screen. You may need to scroll. Select and click continue. Your domain will now be scanned to check its current DNS record. Click continue and when prompted to add records later, click confirm. You'll be given a couple of name server addresses to add to your registrar settings. Make a note of these or click copy next to the first one. Open up your registrar DNS settings. These will differ for every registrar, so please refer to your registrar's website or help section for the location of the relevant settings. For Freenom, log in, click services in the top menu and select my domains. From your list of domains, Click the Manage Domain button for the relevant domain. Click Manage Freenom DNS. Click Edit Name Service. Select Use Custom Name Service. In the fields below, paste the first name server address from Cloudflare in Name Server 1. Go back to Cloudflare and copy the second name server address. Paste this into Name Server 2. Then click Change Name Servers. Freenom will now update the DNS records for your domain to point to Cloudflare's name servers. This information propagates across the internet to many DNS servers. The process can take up to 24 hours, so this may take some time. You can check if this process has completed by going back to Cloudflare and clicking Done, Check Name Servers. If it's not yet ready, Cloudflare will advise that it's still checking. Try again in a few hours. We left it until the next day and logged back into Cloudflare. When you see an overview dashboard, the transfer is complete. To set up Cloudflare tunnels, we need to install the Cloudflare add-on. 
To do this, go to Settings, Add-ons, then click the Add-on Store. We need to add another repository to Home Assistant for this add-on. Click the three dots at the top right and select Repositories. Add from the following domain, also in the description below. Click Add. Click Close. You may need to refresh your browser for this to take effect. Click the Cloud Flared add-on. Click Install. From the Configuration tab, enter the new domain in External Home Assistant hostname. Enter a tunnel name or accept the default of Home Assistant. Click Save. You'll now need to edit your configuration.yaml. Using your editor of choice, open up configuration.yaml. Remove any other SSL or domain information. Enter the following code, copied into the description below. Once done, save the file, click on Developer Tools and click the Check Configuration button. If all is well, click Restart and confirm it. When Home Assistant restarts, go to the Settings Add-ons screen and click on Cloudflare. Click Start and after a few seconds, click the Log tab. Look for an instruction to visit a URL. Paste the URL into a browser and press enter. You'll be asked what domain you wish to use. Click on the relevant URL. Click the authorize button. You should get a success message advising the certificate has been installed. Go back to Home Assistant and refresh the log to make sure all is OK. From another computer, or switch to another connection, browse to your new domain using HTTPS. If all is well, you should be prompted to log into your Home Assistant instance. This should also work from within your network. You may also use these details in the Home Assistant app. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you liked what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron at my Patreon. The details are below.